guys I thought I would get on here and show you guys what I had purchased from a dental lab that you do not excuse me have to be a dentist to purchase from if you hear baby crying Presley's over there and I'm trying to get her chill out so I can make this video real fast and ignore the massive amount of laundry that I have on my bed because I got five kids so um, this is from Ro. Um, I get my implant snap-ins, uh, the clips, uh, they have to be changed out um, every nine months to a year. I think the normal range is like every six months. Um, they they kind of will change them out if you, whenever you get your cleaning. Uh, but luckily, I've had these in practically almost a year next month. So not an issue uh but i have noticed a little bit of movement not a lot but i mean i can just kind of lift them up a little easier than i have been and so that kind of tells me that it's time to change my clips now mind you um i got laid off from my dentist office um whom i really miss working uh but uh so I don't get the benefits that I got working at a dentist office. So if I went back there, of course, you know, I have dental insurance, but you know, I would look at having to pay. So they taught me while I was working there how to change out my heater bar clips. Uh, and because of that, the last year and a half, you know, that I was there, I changed mine out. Uh, so, I went online searching for a dental laboratory that didn't just sell to dentist offices, that would sell to whoever. Um, and I found my clips and I found my insert, insert, my insert tool uh, at Row Dental Labs. Uh, and so, this is what it looks like. Um, I may do this on video just to kind of show you guys because I mean I know there's probably some out there that have the hater bar like me that snap on to these clips. Um, but this is the insert, 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 I cannot talk today. The tool that you use to put them in there. Uh, and it's just like a little yellow thing. And what you do is you take the clip and you stick it on the end. And then you push it down into the hater bar until it clicks. And these are the riders. That's what they call these. Um, and these are the little red clips. Um, I have two yellow, two red. Red is in is a um, like tight, and then yellow is like just the normal fit. So I've always just felt like the yellow is good up there. I need the red kind of back there, uh, and I've not had an issue. Uh, but the red ones are the ones that always wear down. These yellow ones don't really wear down that much. Uh, so these are the clips, and like I said, you just stick it on this, pop it in there, and pop it in. Uh, so I can do this. Uh, this would have costed, if I would have got all four of them um, changed out at my dentist, it would have been 80 bucks. Yeah, 20. Yep, 80 bucks. 20 bucks each clip. Uh, this was $50 for my tool and four red clips. Um, I couldn't beat that price. Uh, now, I love my dentist office. I will go there for my cleanings with this crazy virus dies down uh, but if I don't have to go there and I can do something myself and I can save money doing it why not uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys but also they sent me um, things they do um, and I, this is more for like a, a, a dentist but I never knew this um, you can get digital duplicate dentures uh, they scan your old one and they digitize duplicate and deliver the same exact look of the one you have so many of us like a look that we get and then we have to get a new one uh, and it doesn't end up looking the same uh, so that would be a great option to ask our dentist um, if they could do that because how great would that be uh, but I'm gonna jump off here she is probably about to start screaming so I just wanted to share this with you guys you know if anybody out there has this clip bar this would be a cheaper alternative. You can go on YouTube, see how to put it in. It's really not a hassle. Um, super easy. And I definitely believe in saving money. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.